I, I absolutely adore that style of football. That's just me. De Zerbi came in. We didn't even know who he was. And look what he's done. Brighton have had more shots than any team in the Premier League. That includes Manchester City. Roberto, one of the most influential managers in the last 20 years. This man has turned Brighton into one of the most entertaining sides in the league. Could be in and it's a cross goal and it's put it in. And took them to Europe for the first time in their history. Listen to the cheer of the Brighton supporters. It will be Europa League. And Pep Guardiola, the mastermind himself, has recognized the brilliance of De Zerbi's system. It's the best team in the world to make in the build up. The best team is Brighton. And he even integrated some of his principles into his recent 3-2-4-1 tactic. He's one of the team, I tried to learn a lot. With his tactical approach, I secured victories over Man City, Arsenal, and United. So the question is, how did he manage to do it with Brighton? This we will discuss in this video. So, without further ado, let's jump right in. De Zerbi's tactical philosophy revolves around possession-based football, with quick passing and patient build-ups from the back. He typically lines up in a 4-2-3-1 formation, but during the build-up, it evolves into a dynamic 2-4-2-2 system with the full backs positioned parallel with the double pivot and the striker dropping back to partner with the number 10. This strategic shift provides more passing options at the back and maintains good possession. This strategy forces the opposing team to push forward and press high up the field, leaving their assigned markers behind. This opens up space in other areas, where Brighton players can receive the ball and swiftly rotate it to a teammate who is free. This style of play allows Brighton to seamlessly transition from defense to attack within seconds by taking advantage of the open spaces. Now let's look into the overall player roles. At goal, Sanchez is set as a sweeper-keeper, as he provides a vital passing option, which is needed in their build-up play from the back. Both the centre-backs, Webster and Dunk, are assigned as ball-playing defenders, as both have exceptional passing skills. They can move the ball quickly and efficiently, while facing a high press from the opposition. When Brighton transitions into attack, the right-back takes a more advanced position as a wing-back. This offers an additional attacking threat and helps to make overlaps with the winger. Meanwhile, the left back acts as an inverted wing back. He covers the left CDM position when Seicedo moves forward. This clever movement creates a square-like structure. This makes the team well protected against any swift counter-attacks through the center. At left CDM, Moises Caicedo has the all-round abilities to be a roaming playmaker. He adeptly drops deep to receive the ball and effectively progresses it forward, becoming a vital link between Brighton's defense and attack. His exceptional ability to locate teammates in dangerous areas opens up scoring opportunities for Brighton. While the other pivot assumes the role of an anchor, he takes on the responsibility of winning back possession and distributing the ball to our more creative players forward. In De Zerbi's system, McAllister is often used as an advanced playmaker. McAllister's movement is a thing of beauty. He often drifts forward and interchanges positions with the striker. Also his passing accuracy and vision allow him to distribute the ball with precision, creating scoring opportunities for his teammates. At left wing, Mitoma plays as a typical winger, whose main objective is to provide width and create scoring opportunities for his teammates. Mitoma's blistering pace and exceptional dribbling skills makes him a nightmare for opposing fullbacks. His ability to beat defenders and provide dangerous cross passes from wide adds a whole new dimension to Brighton's attacking prowess. On the right, Sali March is deployed as an inverted winger. March's main objective is to cut inside centrally, 
This clever movement allows March to target those through passes from the back, giving him the opportunity to score. At the front, Welbeck acts as a deep-lying playmaker. Welbeck tends to drop deep to receive the ball. This leaves gaps for the wingers or center mids to exploit. He also excels at converting crosses into goals and making well-timed runs during counterattacks. First off, the team mentality is set to control, allowing the team to maintain possession and control the flow of the game. However, against weaker opposition, you have the flexibility to switch it to attacking. The tempo is set to normal, reflecting De Zerbi's patient approach to build-ups. The defensive line is set to balanced, as De Zerbi emphasizes building up from deep. This setting encourages the opposition to come forward, creating more opportunities to exploit spaces. As Brighton is not an elite defensive side, it's advisable not to use the offside trap. In the final third, choose the look for overlap instruction. This enables the players to engage in positional rotation and create more passing options. The passing style and goalkeeper distribution are set to short, as this is helpful for Deserby's build-ups and possession-based style. We finished as league runner-up and reached the latter stages of both the FA Cup and Carabao Cup. As mentioned earlier, we successfully challenged the top six clubs and achieved favorable outcomes against them. In the league, we achieved an extraordinary second place finish, which is truly remarkable for Brighton. The relentless fighting spirit displayed by this tactic in every game made this achievement possible. In terms of player stats, Welbeck led the chart with 23 goals, closely followed by the left winger Mitoma who scored 20. In assists, the number 10, McAllister topped the table with 13 assists. Mitoma once again showcased his contribution by reaching double digits in assists. So, this gameplay is a 2-0 victory I got against Man United, where we maintained complete control throughout of the game, keeping them at bay. Despite the first goal originating from a corner, it vividly highlighted Mitoma's exceptional accuracy in delivering crosses from the wide areas. The second goal perfectly showcased the Zerbi's patient build-up system. In this, Motor calmly handled two pressing players, creating space for Caicedo. Then Caicedo cleverly dragged the marker around McAllister, which freed up space for McAllister to move into and score. So it's full time, and Brighton totally controlled the game and maintained possession for nearly 60% of the match. They also managed to create more shots on target. Additionally, Brighton showcased their superior build-up play by completing more passes overall when compared to United. And that's all for today guys. If you found this video useful, please leave a like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Thanks for watching, and have a nice day.